This is question 21 from module two hard of blue book practice test number five. For an electric field passing through a flat surface perpendicular to it, the electric flux of the electric field through the surface is the product of the electric field strength and the area of the surface. A certain flat surface consists of two adjacent squares where the side length in meters of the larger square is three times the side length in meters of the smaller square. An electric field with strength 29 volts per meter passes uniformly through the surface, which is perpendicular to the electric field. If the total electric flux of the electric field through this surface is 4,640 volts times meters, what is the electric flux in volts times meters of the electric field through the larger square? One way to solve this problem is to notice that it says that the electric field passes uniformly through the surface. The surface is created using two adjacent squares, one smaller square and an adjacent square that is that has a side length three times as large. Suppose we say the side length of the smaller square is x. That would mean the side length of the larger square is 3x. Further, we can say the area of the smaller square is x squared, and the area of the larger square is 9x squared. Altogether, this means that the total area is equivalent to 10x squared. Now, it is stated that the total electric flux is 4,640 volts times meters. And the question is asking for the electric flux only through the larger square. Well, if we know the, lar the area of the larger square is 9x squared, and the total area is 10x squared, we can set up a proportion to determine how much of the electric flux had to go through the larger square, since it states that the uh, electric field passes uniformly through the surface. So the area of the larger square over the area of the entire field equals, we don't know what the, electric flux is, is what we're trying to solve. So I'll give it a variable f. And we know that the total is 4,640. x squared can be simplified here. So 9 tenths is equal to f over 4,640. Solving this proportion will yield that f equals 4,176. That is the correct answer.